All right, welcome back to another relearning Angular video in this series. We've been just going over things in Angular. From the very start, we created a new project. Um, we haven't really made it too pretty, but we've gone over a lot of Angular concepts with this project. And if you're learning Angular for the first time, feel free to go through this playlist and look at all these videos. Maybe we talk about topics that you're interested in, or if you just want to follow along from start to finish, that's also a pretty good idea. And I really appreciate all of you for watching and subscribing if you like this content. Uh, we're getting close to 400k total views on this channel, which is phenomenal. And today we're going to talk about dependency injection. We actually did some dependency injection in the last video when we created our first service. We just probably didn't know about it. And it's not too hard of a concept. Um, I want to, to hopefully let it click in your brain because it is a little bit confusing when you're just starting out. So let's go ahead and look at the Angular page for uh, dependency injection. So a few things to take note of. In our case, we had a TypeScript class of a component and it depended on the service that we created to grab all of the movie titles. In fact, let's go look at it just to remind ourselves. So we created this movie service. We added it to the constructor of this home component and then we set movies in this home component equal to what's returned by this get movies method in the movie service. And what we did right here, when we put it in this constructor's parameters, this service, we said, hey, this particular TypeScript class depends on this movie service because we do something with it. And that's what we're doing. We're injecting this service and an instance of this service into our home component. And I say instance because, well, we'll, we'll get into that here in a second. So here's some things you need to know. Uh, there's something called an injector in Angular, and it creates, or Angular creates, an application-wide injector for us to use that gets started during the bootstrap process of the Angular app. So when the Angular app gets started, uh, an injector is created. The injector then creates dependencies and maintains the dependencies throughout the lifespan of our application. And that's important because some components might use the same dependencies and the injector will keep track of the state of that dependency. And a lot of buzzwords right here, but we're going to simplify some things. So you'll notice when we created our service, we have this metadata here, this injectable, and we added provided in, or actually it added this for us when we let the uh, command line create our service for us. It put this piece of code in the metadata. It said provided in root. And when you add this provided in root, when you provide the service at the root level, Angular creates a single shared instance of that particular service for us to inject into other classes. So what does that mean? When we run the TypeScript of this and it goes, oh, you know, it depends on this movie service, it's going to look and see if an instance of that movie service already exists from another component depending on it and being ran. If it doesn't, it'll spin up a new instance of that service and here we go. We have a new movie service instance to use and then we can call the getMovies method. Now the cool part is, uh, that same instance can then be accessed in other components of the Angular app. And I'm going to show you how we know that's true. And just to show you, here's the metadata of our service we created, and it automatically added this provided in root for us. So what I want to do with the service is I want to add a few things. We're going to add a new property, and this is going to be called title. It's going to be of type string, and right off the bat, it's just an empty string. And we're going to create some getter and setter uh, methods in this class. So we can say set title, which is going to take in, um, a, we're going to call it title of type string. And it's going to be a void. It's not going to return anything. And then we're going to say this dot title. So the title of this class is going to be set equal to the title passed in this method. And I didn't capitalize T. There we go. And then the same thing we can do, get title. This isn't going to take anything, but it's going to return a string, and we could say return this dot title. Okay, so how can I use this to prove that we can reuse this service when we use dependency injection at the root provided level? So let's go back to our component, and in the code, or really in the constructor, 
I want to console.log adding a title. This is just for debugging. And then let's call movie service dot set title. And we're going to set the title value to testing DP for dependency injection. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it should be DI, not DP. That doesn't make sense. Okay. So once again, in this home component, we are setting the title of that movie service. So let's serve this up. NG serve dash O. So now in the constructor, we can see in the console here, it added this adding a title. So now what I would like to do is let's go to about and this component. Remember, this is a separate component, the about component. And we want to retrieve that title and see if the value is consistent to what we set it as in the home component. So let's go to the about component TypeScript. Let's also inject that service into this constructor of the about component. So movie uh, service of type movie service. Down here, let's have a title property. And then in the constructor, we can say this dot title is equal to movie service dot get title. And now in the about component HTML, just to see if it works, let's put a paragraph and interpolate title. Okay, so let's remember what we're doing. We are going to call this home component first. It's going to look for a movie service that's already instantiated, but one doesn't already exist. So it's going to spin up an instance of this movie service. And then it's going to set the title of that movie service to testing DI. And then we'll switch views to the about component, which will then run its constructor, look for a movie service service. One's already spun up, so it says I'll use that one and then grab its title value. So let's see if that's true. So I'm going to go back to home. We'll look at uh, the console adding a title. So we made it at least that far in the constructor. Now, if we go to about, here's the value testing DI. So we just proved that both components are now using the same shared instance of that movie service because it was provided in the root level. And once I saw that, this made a lot more sense to me before just reading on the Angular page uh, about dependency injection. This really clicked when I saw this work. And hopefully it clicked in your mind too. If it was a little confusing, go back and rewatch this. I think it'll make more sense. So there's definitely some more things you can do with dependency injection, but I just wanted to show you the broad use for it. And yeah, um, I think that's all we're going to cover in this video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. And as always, take care.